you need to sit on it like this yeah as you can see i'm sitting on it can you see my bum yeah so you sit on So hello guys, welcome back to another video with the Essie Base. If today happens to be the first time you see my pretty face, I would want you to stay. So kindly join this happy family by hitting the subscription button. And also if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so so much for tuning in today to you know joining us in another video. Now as you've read from the title, I wanted to share with you guys some of the female, you know, 101 hygiene you know the journey steam process that i went through you know together with my mom because she's the one that literally introduced me to this and she's been you know this has been something that our great great grandparents have done and uh so me doing the same thing wasn't a surprise but really 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 helped me so much to heal after i had my baby and uh, I don't know if you'd want to consider, you know, going through this yoni steam process and also, um, you know, what I took in, you know, to, you know, heal me that quick. Yes. And I discovered that so many people have been doing this as well, but I don't li I literally don't know what exactly they add to their uh, remedies. But uh, this is what my mom taught me. And uh, if you'd want to consider this, let's just start let's just get straight into this video so to begin i wanted to start to uh you know share with you guys the yoni uh steam process now when you give birth or even though you've not given birth that you really want to you know steam your yoni what i mean that is your vagina yeah i say Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You want to cleanse your vagina system. Hmm? Just go through this process. So to begin, I wanted to, you know, you know, in Ghana, well, I'm a Ghanaian, so I'll say in Ghana. In Ghana, what people use is buckets. But uh, we are in the diaspora, I'm in the UK. If I want to use the buckets, yes, I could use. But I think uh, one thing that I would really advise you use is this and this is what helped me if you want to use the buckets that's fair enough but i do not think that's safe because since the hot the water is hot and you sit on the bucket the bucket will also be hot especially when it's a metal bucket don't sit on that one because you hurt yourself so what i literally bought from amazon that i discovered was this this is my favorite friend <laughs> yes yeah, so i'm going to show you guys how and what i did so literally what i did was you would have to boil hot water put it in here so do not let us uh uh pass this line over there you know where the gray line is don't let it pass it so you add hot water in here and then what I, you literally you can add this oil they have china oil that you can add that's if you want to but i didn't use china oil what i used was tcp Aha, uh -huh. if you're in Ghana, you know what TCP is. I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So TCP is literally antiseptic. It's good for, you know, uh, inflection, for sore throats, you know, cuts, bites, uh, spots, smooth pain, literally. So since it's very hot, I bought this from Boots. You can get this from even Super Drug. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So if you guys want to, you know, purchase it through that link, that, that, that's entirely up to you. So what you need is this. So you just need three things. So this, yeah. And then that's the TCP. You just need few drops because it's very, 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 very strong. You would not want to hurt your yummy, your vagina. So, you can either use Dettol, that's if you want, or you can mix Dettol with this, with just few drops of the TCP. And then you add hot water. You put it on the toilet. So like this, let me show you. So you put it on the toilet. So the hot water will be here. Don't let it pass the, this line here. This line. Add your drops to it. Sit on it. Yeah, let me sit on it so you guys will see. And then cover yourself with a huge towel or a huge throw. Bear with me. 
so you need to sit on it like this yeah as you can see i'm sitting on it can you see my bum yeah so you sit on it and then you cover yourself entirely with the towel we've got other herbs that you can use or if you've heard of them or if you've already used it before you can use those herbs there are herbs there there are oils as i said china oil but i use the tcp and the dettol that's what i used or you can literally just sit on uh yeah or you can add um camphor if you've got camphor i don't know if that's the english name or but Ghanaian is your friend of camphor uh -huh. so if you put camphor also in hot water and you sit on it cover yourself and then that's it off you go so this is the toilet yeah would you go then you sit on it and then voila when you're done it's easy that the reason why i bought this and i think it's convenient is the fact that once you finish sitting on it you just turn uh push it this way can you see that this part there are holes here you just do it this way and then it pours it goes directly to, into the toilet and then when you're done you just sorry bear with me when you're done when you're done you just fold it so bear with me. and then voila can you see flat so you can even travel with this wherever you are if you're traveling and you think you are not done with the you know yoni steam process and you want to take this along with you you can put this into your hand luggage or your bag and then you do the process wherever you are it's very convenient and uh, yeah i bought this from amazon as usual amazon has got everything that you need yeah so that's where i bought it so you can you know also consider to get this to do the yoni steam process it is very good as i said because it cleans your vagina it cleans all your system under there any bacteria or anything that is there it literally cleans everything so this is a good process right after you have your baby and you come home this is what you need to do yes um at least i'm talking for myself and my you know and my mom that's the process we have gone through and i think any african will you know literally uh no i wouldn't say any african any Ghanaian knows what i'm talking about yeah we are Ghanaian, here so we need to try we be that uh -huh. so yeah that's the process i literally went through so you can choose to you know do that so you can choose to literally you know go through that process yeah to do the uh, the yoni steam mm? yeah it's very good very 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 good and very convenient it's very uh adaptable as well so if you want to try that sisters i really recommend this to you so this is just for the ladies if you're a man and you want to also introduce this to your girlfriend or to your wife or to your wife to be or to any woman that you know i think this is good so try this yeah now also when you come home and uh, you literally uh, after you know doing the after doing the yoni steam process at home whilst doing that you know women after you've given birth or even when you're pregnant or even after you've had your baby you have some discharge when i say discharge some you know discharge i think normally it's white if i quite remember from your vagina yes yes from your vagina and what you can literally do is you just take a cup of warm water or let's say it shouldn't be cold yeah a, a cup of warm water yeah one cup yeah add uh it shouldn't be that full into to the stand that you can't cover it so one cup of warm water add some cloves what i mean by cloves i mean these let me show you add some cloves see these so few of it and then add organic semi pepper which is arantia uh, no it's not arantia is it called arantia yeah it's arantia which is a uh, negro pepper these i always cook with this i put them in my soup my stew my um my what's it called if i have headache and i'm trying to you know do some homemade remedies that's what i literally do so you add few drops of this and then i think three or yeah three or four and then some cloves few cloves as well in the warm water cover it leave it overnight and trust me sister if you do this for three uh, one to three or four days 
it is going to you know reduce the discharge to the extent that ebemanako it can vanish one click yes so try this remedy as well and also if you want your vagina to smell that good for your man for your husband yes shave frequently and after shaving frequently what you need to do i mean after you've had your baby you need to shave frequent frequently so you don't have these you know odor or any smell in your vagina yes coconut oil organic coconut oil i mean the cold pressed one it's also my top secret. That's also one of my secrets. So after you finish having your bath, you don't need to insert it into your vagina. No, no, you don't need to do that. You know, the sideways, I'm going to show you here how your, the vagina looks like. Yes. So, you uh, in chain Oh God, I wish I could literally open my legs and show you guys. <laughs> but I can't because the private part is for one person. That's my husband. That's it. But I'm going to insert a picture here and show you guys. So the sides, you know, the, the both sideways, left and right of your vagina. I say, oh no. You can just take uh, just a few, you know, uh, drops of coconut oil or the cold pressed one, depending on what coconut oil, but it has to be organic just uh you know um how do you say it just put it there you know uh the left and right and trust me you're going to smell very very good so i use this frequently even after i've had my baby even now that my baby is six months old i use it all the time so it's very very good i really recommend that to you guys yeah Yes, I really recommend that to you guys. You would not regret it if you try these remedies that I'm giving you guys. It's free of charge. You can get it anywhere. So try this. So the first one is the Yoni, the DIY Yoni uh, steam process, which I showed you or what, what I did after I had my baby. Immediately I got home, what my mom taught me to do. So that's the first one. The second one would be how to cure Candida, which is O de Pois. O de Pois. Is it your yari? <laughs> yes, there are so many uh, remedies. You can use joy ointment. Yes, joy ointment is the best. I use it for my armpits sometimes. Sometimes too, I use it for, uh, you know, dark spots. I use it for pimples. Oh God. Joy ointment is the best. You can never go wrong with joy ointment. So, I'm see, I'm even giving you more things that you can, uh, different you know uh, remedies that you can literally do so the first remedy that you'd have to do when you come back from the hospital which i did so i'm literally sharing my experiences with you guys this is not from anyone all opinions are mine let me issue a disclaimer i am not a doctor i'm not a nurse i'm not a midwife or whatsoever these are personal things in diys that i did and which uh i think any Ghanaian has also done most Ghanaians have done i'll put it that way so if you do it and it's not uh working just console your doctor or your nurse but trust me it's going to work here yes. woman in ghana Ooh, yeah this is the process that you go through but uh you know some people add different products others also use the same products that i've shared with you guys so depending on the products that you use so you can either use the china oil you can either use the tcp the Dettol, or you can also use camphor for the yawning steam process the second thing is how to cure candida yes how to cure candida <laughs> so that would be for you to use um the warm water a cup of warm water add uh cloves few cloves add few organic uh in the Ghanaians we say harintia or negro pepe if you want to call it that way so you add few drops of that cover it overnight and then in the morning early morning drink that and do it for three to four five days and this is going to work well it has worked for me i don't know about you yes so these are all the things that i i did when i came back from the hospital because you, trust me you have discharge and when i say discharge it's not um it could be any discharge there are so many different types of discharge i don't want to go there i'm not a nurse or any medical uh, practitioner so i don't want to you know literally go into that yes i'll uh interview one of my friends who are nurses and doctors so they will literally go deep deep down to this for you guys to understand that but this is what i personally did 
after I came back from the hospital that helped me. Yes, not because I had Odepo, not because I had Candida, no. It was because I was having a discharge, which is normal for every woman or every pregnant woman, yes. So you can do that. So uh, as I said, overnight and in the morning, you just drink it. The last thing would be, so these are the, literally the four things that I did, yes. The last, or you can, uh, yeah, or you can also use the joy ointment. The joy ointment is very, very good. As I said, you can use it also to cure candida, which is the point, or any uh, discharge that you're having from your vagina, from your private area. You can also use the joy ointment. So I'm going to pop it here or here, so you guys will know the joy ointment that I'm talking about. Yes. So yeah, I'm watching Kojo Sheldon. Kojo Sheldon, this is your big fan. My son really loves watching Kujo Sheldon for some reason, I don't know why. As you can see, he's there watching Kujo Sheldon. Can you see him? Yeah, he's watching Kujo Sheldon. <laughs> yeah, so the last thing would be, I have here in my plate, yeah, I have here Negro Pepe or the Hintia. So let me show you guys, because someone might say, what is that? So this is it. I'm going to pop up a picture as well. In the video so you guys you know what i mean so you need this you need ginger not just one you need a lot because you're going to put it in a very huge pot so what you need is just take a huge pot add warm water you need precursor which is called aridan fruit yes is it aridan fruit or aridan seed no it's aridan fruits yes uh you aridan fruits contains a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of benefits i use this in my soups and i've also blended uh some which i use in my porridge i use in hot water if i have heart headache cold if i've got any illness even stomach pain sometimes i just put it in hot water and i just drink it yes i blend this with my blender yes and i use it it is very 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 good those in ghana will know what this is so this is iridan fruit it's called precase this is not uh this uh, uh fruit here is not you can never you will never find it anywhere in the world apart from ghana and israel yes if you go to israel you will find this there and in ghana too anywhere across the world they don't literally um they will have it if they would want if they are selling it but they do not have the actual you know tree except in ghana and in israel so this Hmm. I'm going to put the benefits in the description box, so I'll pop it on the screen so you guys know the benefits. You can go and you know, research yourself. It's called pre kese or Ariden fruit or Tetraplela. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounce it well. What's the word again? Tetraplela. <laughs> no, te it's called Tetraplela. <laughs> I don't know. So you need this. You need the, uh, you know, Negro Pepe. You need ginger. And you need few drops of you know cloves add it to the warm water boil it and then drink it first thing when you wake up and you brush your teeth that's the first thing you need to drink drink it morning afternoon and evening morning afternoon and evening this is what you need to drink yes before you eat this is very good so this is what i drank when i had my baby and it cured all the you still have some sore in your stomach and you need to cure it and this remedy these four remedies are the best remedies you ever have not from anywhere but only on the sc base channel see we're giving you free 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 remedies to try yeah so these are the things that i did when i had my baby it's really really good anyone out there you can go and do your research and you realize that this is not something that uh you know uh i just started doing or my mom started doing but this has been from since 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 yes our great great grandparents they used to do this when you have a child this is the remedy that you would have to go through so these are the four things that today i wanted to share with you guys free of charge i hope this video has been helpful and uh if it has kindly hit the subscription button yeah our video subscribe if you're new on this channel and you're waiting for and you've not done that yet so what are you waiting for eh 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 did you get it did you get all the information that i gave you the free remedies did you get it or you didn't get it anyway i know that you've got it i know that you've got it but if you didn't get it too 
that's fine because i know you got it yes you got it you got it you got it <laughs> you got it you got it <laughs> so yeah kindly uh hit the subscription button and then share our videos to your family and friends and until next time in our next video i'll say bye for now i love you guys keep spreading love and keep spreading peace bye <laughs> ciao Aquaba, Oje Kong, and welcome to GK Homes. Have you thought of owning a home, investing, or buying to let in Ghana, but feeling reluctant due to bad experience, land litigation, scam, and or land guards issue? Well, you don't have to worry anymore. CEO and founder of GK Homes, Mr. Jude Saki Mensa, is here to help you take that bold step to make your dream come true. We are a real estate development company specializing in apartments and single and multifamily homes. Owning a home gives you peace of mind, but owning a home from GK Homes gives you peace of heaven on earth. We are constructing ultra-modern two- and three-bedroom townhouses in a serene and fast-developing area at Amasaman. Our phase one site consists of eight two- and three-bed units. We are currently selling from Community 7 and then moving on to phase two, where our affordable two- and three-bedroom luxury apartments will be located. We pride ourselves in using high quality construction materials and a high standard of interior design finish from the United Kingdom to provide affordable yet luxurious properties. At GK Homes, our houses are very affordable and we put the same high standards of care and attention into looking after our customers. We adopt the principles and good practices of the Consumer Code for Home Builders scheme by providing a quality home constructed to the highest standards. Call us now and become a homeowner today.